Alright guys, these types of maximum length questions are actually quite easy. Easy marks. So, let me show you what I mean. So let's say for example we knew the coordinates of D was like 2 and 8. And then let's say the coordinates of R, that would have the same X value, so it would be like 2 and minus 6. Then how would you find this length? Well, would you agree with me that you could take the Y value of the top point minus the Y value of the bottom point? Because that would give you 8 minus minus 6, and so it's almost like saying 8 plus 6, which is 14. So this Y top minus Y bottom is something that is very important to remember. That will always give you the length, but always make sure that it's top minus bottom. So, that will give us the length of dr, but now all that we do, instead of saying y, we replace it with the equation. So d is the parabola, so we can replace it with its equation. So we say minus x squared plus 8x, uh, so that's a minus 9, minus y bottom. So we go in brackets, and then the y value of r is from the straight line, which is 2x minus 9, and that should give us the length of dr. All that we do now is we simplify minus 2x plus 9 and that's the length of dr. We then put all like terms together and that's actually just going to give us that over there. The 9's cancel. And then what you do is we know that in calculus to find minimums and maximums it's all about making the first derivative equal to 0. And so we take the first derivative of minus 2x plus 6 and so we can just say that that's the first derivative. Now we know that we can make the first derivative equal to 0. And so that's going to end up giving us x equals to 3. Now they haven't asked for the value of x. They actually want the length. So then what you do is you plug it back into the equation for the length, which is dr. And so that's going to be minus, in bracket, 3 plus 6 in bracket, 3. And that's going to give us minus 9 plus 18. And so the maximum length is 9.